In this video, I'm going to show you the best practice way to detect clicks to list items in a recycler view and then navigate to a new activity. Keep in mind that this video is actually part of my SQLite for Beginners 2019 course, but if you're watching it as a standalone video on YouTube, the process is going to be exactly the same. So it's still going to outline everything that you need to know to do this, and uh, I'm going to show you the best practice way to do it. If you're watching on my YouTube channel, you probably know that I already have a Recycler View on Click Listener video, but I actually show you a inferior way to do it. It's not the best practice way. So I've got a little bit of flack on that. So I decided to make this video and show you the best practice way, the most efficient way to, to do this. So just to give you kind of a little demo here, I have a note keeping application for my SQLite course. When I click on a list item, I'm taken to a new activity where it displays the information associated with that note. So you can see the title up there. So this one, this is a third note. I'm clicking it. This is the title. And then the content of the load note is down there. It's just kind of some random content. So that's what I'm going to be working on in this video. So in this app, I have one adapter class to adapt the recycler view to the list. It's called Notes Recycler Adapter. This is where we're gonna be writing all the code for this video. Now, when you detect a click to a recycler view, the best practice way is to use an interface and use that interface inside of your view holder class. So the first step is creating that interface. So I'm gonna create a new interface, public interface on note listener. And it's gonna have a single override method named on note click. And it's gonna take a integer as an input. So what, what I'm going to use is I'm going to use this interface to detect the click, to interpret the click, and then I'm going to use this method in the activity to send the position of that clicked item. So before I actually move forward, what I'm going to do since I've created this interface, is I'm going to go into notes list activity, which is the only activity that I have in this project, and I'm going to implement that interface. So I'm going to scroll up to the top. I'm going to write implements that on note listener then i'm clicking alt enter going to implement methods and i'm going to insert the on note click method so that's the method that i just created if we take a look at the adapter class there is that on note click method now inside here is where you would navigate to the new activity so if i was to going to navigate to a new activity i would create an intent 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 equals new intent reference this context and if i was navigating to an activity named you know new activity i would write new activity dot java and then I would write start activity and pass that intent. Of course, in this project currently, I only have a single activity, which is notes list activity. So I don't have a second activity to navigate to, but this is where you would want to do it. And if you wanted to access the note that was selected, all I need to do is do mnotes.get position. And then that gives me a reference to the note that was selected because in the activity, I'm storing a list of those notes which is exactly the same list as we see in the adapter class. So private array list notes, also private array list notes, and that's the one that's passed to the adapter. So that's how I would get a reference to the object that's selected in the activity. So anyway, now let's go back to our adapter class and finish up what we need to do in here. Okay, so I have an interface for sending the click information to the activity, but how do I actually detect the click? Well, we still need to use an on-click listener. So I'm going to go into the view holder, write implements on click listener. Then of course, press alt enter and implement the on click method. So now I have an on click listener inside of my view holder class. Now I want to attach that on click listener to the entire view holder. So I'm going to write item view dot set on click listener. And I pass this to refer to the interface that I implemented up here. Now what I want to do is add a on note listener object or sorry, interface to the view holder. So on note listener. I'm going to say on note listener. Then inside of the view holder, I'm going to change the constructor to accept an on note listener. So on note listener, on note listener. Now inside the constructor, I'm going to set that on note listener. So on note listener equals on note listener. Now inside of the on click method, I want to call my on note click, or sorry, inside the on click method, I need to call on note click. So on note listener dot on note click. And then I want to pass the position of the item that was clicked. And that's easy because I can just type get adapter position. So that's fine. That's all good. The last step in this procedure is setting the on note listener in the view holder. How does the view holder know what the on note listener is? And we do that by instantiating and declaring an on note listener inside of the adapter class. So private on note listener, whoops, 
on note listener, M on note listener. And then inside the constructor for the recycle view adapter, I can pass an on note listener. So on note listener, on note listener, and then set it in here. So this dot M on note listener equals on note listener. Now, the, now inside the constructor for the view holder, remember I changed the input to accept an on note listener. So I need to pass that here also. So I'm passing that global on note listener and that's it. We're done. So now the constructor of the notes recycler adapter has changed in notes list activity. So I just need to reference the interface because remember I implemented the on note listener interface in notes activity right here. So when I pass this, it's referring to that interface. So to go over kind of the whole process from start to finish of what happens when a click is detected, I'll just kind of review this really quick. So inside of notes list activity, I'm implementing the on note listener interface. I'm passing that on note listener interface to the constructor of the notes recycler adapter. So if I go into the notes recycler adapter, we see that on note listener passed to the constructor that that on note listener is set to a global on note listener inside of the notes recycler adapter. That global on note listener is passed to the view holder through the constructor of the view holder right here. Then if we look at the constructor of the view holder, that on note listener is set here to a global on note listener that exists inside each individual view holder. So if you remember how a recycler view works, each one of these is a view holder. So each of them has an on note listener interface attached to it. I have an on click listener attached to the item view of the view holder. Once that item view is clicked, the on note listener interface calls the on note click method and it passes the adapter position. Then of course, the very last step is in notes list activity because the on note click method has been triggered. This method will run right here. So what we'll see is an, a log output that says clicked. If you didn't see what I did there, I just typed log D, which is a shortcut for a debugging output. So that when I run the app and I click a list item, I'm going to get a log output. Once again, I just want to say that um, if you were to, if you wanted to navigate to a no, new activity, this is where you would do it. And just to kind of show you quickly, I'm, I'm going to actually do a real example. So suppose I had some other activity, so I'm just going to call it some activity. It's going to extend app compat activity. And I'm just going to put the on create method in here on create on create. Just so we have something all right uh, called. I need a tag, so I'm typing log t to get a tag. So I have my log d here and I have a log t here. So I'm going to see a log output when this activity is created. It's giving me a warning here because I need to add this to the manifest. So I'm typing alt enter, going to add activity to manifest. So that takes care of that. The app will not crash now when I navigate to this activity. Now if I go into notes list activity, I can create an intent. So intent, intent equals new intent, reference the context. I'm going to reference my new activity, which is some activity, and then I can do start activity and pass that intent. So that will navigate me to that new activity. Some of you probably also want to be able to pass the selected item to that new activity that you selected. In that case, what you would do is you need to attach it to a bundle. Uh, so you do intent dot, you know, put extra, um, whatever your, your object is, some object. In this case, it's a note object, so notes.get position. This is going to give me a warning because I don't have a parsable implementing, uh, implemented on my object class. But uh, if you were to pass uh, some, something else, you know, like a string, something else, then it would work fine. Um, in this video, I'm not going to talk about parsable and how to attach parsable objects to bundles. But um, that's what you would need to do if you're attaching a custom object class. But anyway, that's how you would add an object to the intent. You'd start the activity, navigate to the new activity, all that stuff. So should be should be pretty good to go. The only question I can think of you having here is how to pass a custom object class like I just did. If you want to know more about that, if you want to know how to attach a custom object class like, uh, like a note object, for example, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll post another video to YouTube. But for those of you who are watching the SQLite for Beginners course, don't worry, I'm going to be covering that in the course. And uh, yeah, so we're pretty much pretty much good to go. So I'm going to delete this because we don't need that in the SQLite course. Actually, before I go, before I end this video, I'm going to first of all delete some activity because we don't need that. Uh, go into the manifest and that was removed. Okay, that's good. 
So uh, I want to show you the wrong way that I did in my YouTube video because I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I did it the incorrect way, the way that is not the best practice way. And so I'll show you exactly what I did. So what I did was I went into the on bind view holder method and this will work. It just will, it's not best for performance. If you have a lot of list items, this is definitely not the best way in terms of performance. This is the best way in terms of performance. So what I did was I went view holder dot, uh, I got a reference to uh, the item view. You can just set an on click listener, write new on click listener. And then in here is where I attach the on click listener. So it's much more simple, which is why I did it. It was meant for beginners, but uh, I realized that I still shouldn't show you uh, poor ways to do things, even if it's for beginners. So if you've done this in your code, don't do that. Do it the way that I just showed you. And uh, that will be the optimal way in terms of performance. Now that everything's done and done properly, I'm going to run it. No, I'm not going to run it. Hold on. I'm going to go to notes list activity. I want to print the position just to show you that that's working. So I'm going to print the position out whenever a list item is clicked. Now I'm going to run it and we'll take a look and make sure that it's working properly. Okay. So here we have our app open with a bunch of dummy notes. You can see I have a big recycle view, plenty of notes in here. I'm going to open up the log cat and filter. Oops. I need to filter on my package. So com coding with Mitch should be fine. Click OK. So now it's filtering on my package. So now when I click these list items, I expect to see a printout of the position, which is what I have right here. So I'll click number eight. There you can see it says clicked and there's that number eight. Number seven, click seven, click 14. So there we go. That is everything you need to know about detecting an on-click listener to a recycler view.